Hi, I'm Mark Tremonti from Alta Bridge, and uh, I'm here to explain some guitar parts. For, for warming up, I'll just kind of sit in here. And, um, I used to, uh, to build myself up to be able to do the three note per strings. I used to warm up. These guys heard me do it every day with, um, there's something that Rusty Cooley did um, called the uh, Legato Workout that I swore by for, for about a year. And it, and it um, pretty much was this pattern. So you would do that, um, which is all, you're picking one note on each, you're hammering and picking on the way up. On the way down, you're just doing pull-offs, and I'm alternate picking as well to make it, uh, to work on that as well, but um, do that from the first fret up to the 12th fret. Once you get your, you know, your, you get that, start moving all the way up the neck. And um, after the first two fingers, go to the second. To slow it down. Um, and then uh, not only the half step patterns, but every pattern you can think of. We started the, the legato portion of this um, back at Hellfest, and here's the second half. We've changed locations now. We're in, here in Paris, and uh, here you go. I'm going to start today with uh, before shows, um, just the kind of things I do to warm up. Um, first, I like to get my, my rhythm hand going, and I like to focus a lot on downs, alternate picking, galloping, and whatnot. So I'll just kind of sit around and do what I would do naturally. So. did was I'm just um, start out with just doing some gallops um, and I like to alternate between gallops and alternate picking so um, helps me get in and out of the alternate picking thing on the you know on the specific Making sure it's a specific note you're switching on. But this pattern here, um, it's actually a riff that's coming out on my solo record that I'm coming out with next year, but I'll play it real slow for you. just repeats that pattern but that's I like that exercise because you're alternating strings you're doing your downs you're focusing on your down strokes you're, you're uh, you got the gallops in there um, only thing you don't have is just a straight alternate picking but that's the kind of thing I like to do before I get on for a show and make sure my my right hands going for the rhythm stuff um, now for my left hand stuff um, I'll go through patterns of you know diatonic modal shapes and just kind of go wherever it takes me. And just kind of flow around wherever it, and, uh, you know, to, to do that you have to learn your obviously your modal shapes and just uh, switch on the pattern I'm using is when I'm switching between shapes on one string I'm just so if you 
learn that, uh, you know, that routine, you can float all over the neck in any three note per string pattern and get your left hand raring to go. Um, for picking, for lead kind of picking stuff, I'll start with single string ideas. And one I always go back to is, um, you probably recognize it as like Ingve Malmsteen. <laughs> And you can just float, you know, I'll, I'll take it up to three different positions. So up to speed. Um, so you saw I went through the strings, an easy way to um, for me, to play picking fast through multiple strings is to pick in, in sevens. You're starting on five on the first string and then picking through sevens going down through the strings. It's the same pattern you would use as if you're just playing legato. So it's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. So you'd be playing um, phrases or um, patterns of seven unless you're shifting. If you're shifting, you're gonna to go to fives, so. Um, another picking thing I like to do using two strings, I'll play it slow first, is going. Um, and with that pattern, you can take it, you know, all through E minor. Within those three things, I think the picking hand is nice and warmed up. Um, and the legato hand, I went over legato as well, but uh, that's pretty much gets me ready for a show. Well, thanks for joining me, and uh, I hope, uh, hope I covered all bases. Um, I hope to cover all the future AB stuff on, on another uh, DVD of, of my own on Fret 12, but uh, in, in the meantime, check it out in Guitar Part Magazine, and uh, thanks for having me.